All right, as you can see, we have a, a pretty special guest with us this morning. So joining us from the Gulf Coast Humane Society, we have Chris, Chris uh, Wierma, and then we also have Sanano. Yes. Sanano, yes. right? Yep. Came in yep. from Puerto Rico. All the way from Puerto Rico, yes. All the way from Puerto Rico. And, yep. and, and you guys are on, of course, because Sanano is up for adoption? He is up for adoption. He is a three-year-old. Um, you know, we'll just call him a terrier, but I think he might have a little rot, rotty in him just with his, his temperament and his face and his head. And uh, he loves, I call him the wiggle butt because anytime he sees people, that's what's going, his, his little tail. He just loves people. He wants the attention all the time, uh, positive attention. <laughs> and you know, like I said, he's just a little wiggle butt. Right now, you said last Saturday, the Gulf Coast Humane Society had about 20 adoptions, which is really big for any yes. given day, right? Yeah, that was a tremendous day. Uh, and it, it just kind of came out of the blue, like it usually does. Uh, it, it, you know, sometimes the adoptions on a day, just they just a lot of people come in and, and they want to adopt, and which is a, a great thing. Uh, you know, we've we're bumping up against 1,500 adoptions already this year, uh, which is uh, uh, well on our pace uh, of our goal of 3,000. When, when when we're talking about uh, specifically dogs, it's not just dogs at the Gulf Coast Humane Society. If you haven't been there, uh, you know one of the big things too that they have is is cats that are available as yes. well. There are so many animals in need right now. Yes, and it's really as simple as walking in the door and speaking with someone there to get more information. Yeah, uh, or you could you know I always suggest starting on our website. Uh, GulfCoastHumaneSociety.org, O-R-G, and all of our adaptable animals are on there. Uh, if you see one you like, then you can come on in. You can come on in anyways. Uh, you know, we're open seven days a week. So uh, we, we love our visitors, and so, so do the animals. For, for viewers watching, they say, hey, listen, you know, I really would love to add, you know, a forever, you know, a furry friend for, you know, give them a forever home this summer. They come in, a couple things they need to have with them, driver's license, things like that. Yeah, a driver's license. And if you do have another pet, make sure you have their uh, rabies certificate up to date. Uh, and then you come in, do a meet and greet. If you do have another animal or another dog, you can <laughs> come in and have them meet Sonano so just to make sure they get along. And then you just uh, do the, the, the paperwork, pay the adoption fee, and that's it. You it is always super important. I have two dogs myself, and, and one is a Golden Doodle, is 50 pounds. The other one is uh, a Malinois Shepherd mix, and he's over 100 pounds. And you wouldn't think that they would get along the way they do. Yeah. But it's because we tested it out first, and, and you can't just go into a home with a second dog with it last, let it, letting them interact yeah. for a little while. And it gives you a peace of mind, too. When you do see them interact uh, positively, uh, then, you know, it just gives you a peace of mind that, uh, you know, they, they'll get along at home too, but there's always a transition period. So if you want any more information on Sonano, if I don't snag them up myself, <laughs> yeah, you just saw all that information that was listed uh, right there uh, for the Gulf Coast Humane Society, their website, also their hours, you said you open uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, nope, seven days a week. Seven days a week. You bet, you bet. You can come in seven days a week. Find dogs, also cats, and like we do, you can also send in toys and other things to, to donate for everybody in the shelter to use. Toys, food, uh, cleaning supplies, uh, we use anything. <laughs> All right, always want to thank Brian Wierma for joining yes. us and uh, Sonano making a guest appearance here on More in the Morning on this Saturday morning. Anybody interested, head over to the Gulf Coast Humane Society, that website, you can find out more information. All right, thanks so much, Jim. Uh, as you can see, we have a special guest in studio with us this morning. So this is Sanano, and then also from the Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast Humane Society Community Relations Director, we have, uh, we have Brian Wierma. Thank you so much for, for coming in on this Saturday morning. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, especially after COVID. We're, we're ready to get out and you know, get, get some exposure for our, our furry ambassadors. So, uh, so um, uh, Sonano is, is the featured, I, I guess, pet this week. And you said he's been yes. here for about two months and you yep. got him. You went over to Miami because he came from Puerto Rico. Yeah, so we uh, work with an organization from Puerto Rico where they, the, it's a big foster network. So they take in a lot of homeless animals in Puerto Rico, especially after the hurricane of, of, from a couple of years ago. Many animals were homeless. And they, uh, you know, we, we just have a, a, a plan with them. Once every two months, they'll fly, you know, up to 12 dogs, you know, puppies, older dogs like, like Sonano. Uh, we meet them in Maya at the Miami airport, load them up, and we bring them back. 
In my mind, living here in Southwest Florida, it's such a, a vacation and tourist destination that I would think that during season is, is the peak time for people yeah. to, to uh, uh, foster and adopt. But you're saying it's really any given day could, could bring in any amount of yes. people, even last Saturday, 20 people came in. Yeah, there. yeah, I, I mean, we, we didn't have anything going on on last Saturday. It just happened. People, they wanted to come out and they wanted to adopt, you know, and, and sometimes it happens on a Wednesday. Uh, you know, especially if, if the afternoon on a weekday is, is stormy, people come out and they, you know, they'll want to come in and look at the animals and uh, sometimes they don't adopt. They just want to come down and, you know, take a look at them. So this is Sonano, you said three years old. You've yes. had him for about two months, which yep. is typically a little long for, for what you'd actually like to have him in the kennel. Yeah, and especially with Sonano, his temperament's so good. I've can like, see it. Yeah. Like I said, I've had him uh, at events at summer camp. So he's interacted with tons of young kids. Uh, he's been at senior homes. Uh, he gets along with other dogs. Uh, so I, I am personally very surprised at a dog like this. He's a great size uh, that he's still with us. He is so sweet. Anybody out there that's looking for a pet to just immediately come into your house, and you'd mention even with kids. Yes. Just acts so great. My <laughs> dogs are going to be jealous. I'm going to smell him all <laughs> You know, the but uh, along with that temperament, you know, he is calm here, but you get him outside, he's going to play or he's going to walk. You know, he's got... He's got, he's healthy, he's got lots of life, he, but you know the big thing that he loves is attention. And that's, that's what he, that's what he vies for. And you know, if, if someone adopts him, give him all the attention he wants because uh, he'll take it all. Oh, he is <laughs> such a sweet boy. Again, all that information was listed on your screen. Uh, you'd like to get more information about Sonano or just the Gulf Coast Humane Society in general, head over to their website, give them a call seven days a week. They are open. Want to thank Brian and, and Sonano. <laughs> See you, buddy, for joining us this morning. So cute.